Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com and I'm joined by Tova and also Doug, who you might know some of their music on many of the different Disney um, specials and stuff. So before we jump into any of that, um, could you give us a bit of an outline of what you've done for Disney so far, please? Ah, for Disney, we've done oh a, a couple of things. Uh, we've done, uh, we worked on the Marvel Rising franchise. Uh, we've done a few songs for their episodes, um, as well as High School Musical. Musical. The, musical the Musical, the series. Yes, the Musical, the series on season <laughs> one and two, which uh, our song just came out. Uh, Last week. Yeah, the first one on season one, we did Born to be Brave. And then the most recent one was uh, You Ain't Seen Nothing. <laughs> and, and, and we're also we're also part of the uh, the new live action Disney Plus musical Sneakerella, which is, should be coming out soon. We hope. Yeah. At some point. Um, we've also written for uh, the Zombies Two movie, our song Flesh and Bone. Um, we've done that one. Yep. Yes. What we, else have we done? We hop together? around the Disney family. <laughs> That's always a good thing, yeah. And I must be honest, some of the some of the music, especially uh, the the one from High School Musical, is definitely um, kind of one of my favorites, especially from season one. I thought that one was oh, really thank cool. you. We really That's appreciate cool. that. That makes me happy. That's cool. So, um, what's been your experience working with Disney and with those um, so far? It's, I mean, it's, it's it, fantastic. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Uh, it 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 wasn't really something we thought we'd end up falling into. Um, I mean, we, we originally started off writing for other pop artists. I mean, we both started off as artists as well. So it's been a long road of navigating which way are we gonna end up going. And we kind of fell into the TV and film and theater space, which we absolutely love. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've been working with Disney now Years. for a long time. And obviously we were always huge <laughs> fans of Disney, right? Like iconic, but but yeah, it's it's, I think that's what's so interesting because when you start working with people every day and obviously every show is a little bit different and the people are a little bit different. We're really lucky in that, honestly, all the people on these shows have been incredible so far. We've had zero bad experiences, but it's weird because you, you work with them, you make something, you're excited. A few months later, sometimes a year, you get the final product and you're like, oh my God, I just did something with Disney. <laughs> Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, and, and and like and like Tova mentioned too. I mean, the showrunners and the producers and the cast for all yeah. all the things we've worked on have just they've been so they've been such a pleasure because you know just in general the work environment you don't know who you're going to be working with you don't know how you're going to get along or or just collaboratively you know if if you're going to be on the same page and we've it's struck gold, yeah we've struck gold as far as just the relationships go i mean even the high school musical tim federley is we loved him he's he's great and he was so kind enough to bring us back for season two and um our our, our good buddy steve vincent um who's over at the channel has kind of played a role in each thing that we've done um and even on the marvel stuff uh court lane who who, who was head of marvel rising uh SVP at the time. Yep, yeah. yep. He he was he became a friend of ours very quickly. And just everyone in the cast too. That's what's so great about what we do, especially coming from writing for artists. All all the you know, a lot of the cast members also have intentions of having their own artist career as well. I mean, Olivia Rodrigo is a great example yeah. of that. Um, <laughs> you know, when we when we worked with her on, on high school musical, it was crazy. I mean, one minute we're working with her and then the next we see that she's the number one artist in the world as she should be so we it, it's really fun to be able to work with artists outside of disney as well and and, mm -hmm. and and do co-writing sessions and stuff like that so it's a really nice crossover and it 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 just kind of works out seamlessly so and kind of obviously like with like like you say like with the release of the latest episode of high school musical um kind of seeing everyone's reaction to it seeing it on youtube and spotify and seeing the views and stuff and people's reactions how does that feel Oh, that's our favorite thing, yeah. right? So because as a songwriter, like, you're, these are the moments when you see the response in the world. And it's funny because we talk about this sometimes when, when a song you did gets, let's say, 150 million views, it's really hard for the human brain to go, oh, that equals this many people in a box, you know? So you don't really understand what that means. But it's when, us, it's just a number on a screen. It is, you know, and unless you like see your song perform somewhere and see a crowd or what, what's so amazing now about like things like what came out last week is everybody just kind of makes their own version. Mm -hmm. And I love that. That's, that's literally, I'll, I'll send him. I'll be like, look at this TikTok. Look at this one. Oh my God. Yeah, I get so excited. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I always find as well, like with the like with the numbers of people, like the views, and I tend to think of it like like stadiums or arenas, and you go, oh, that would have been in the stadium. Then <laughs> I, I, I I do the same thing. I I, I have really bad like people to area ratio perception or, or depth do. perception because I, I i try to imagine like even so for our, our song flesh and bone i mean i think it's up to like 170 million on one video yeah. on one video and i i we we check in on every now and then just for fun to see where it's at <laughs> and it's it's so hard for me to wrap my my head around that many people you can't here. you I mean, can't you're not supposed to yeah so it's 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 really cool i guess sometimes it's hard to kind of realize because we just go back to doing what we do you know after we're done with a project we come back into our studio and we, we continue to work so it, it's you know we're, we're kind of i'm more on the behind the scenes mm. kind of part portion of it um but you know it the, those things like toba mentioned tiktok I and love TikTok. and even just you know the, the the dance challenges and stuff that people are doing that's our way to to really kind of experience See people experiencing people it which experience. makes you feel like you're experiencing it so yeah thank god for the internet <laughs> <laughs> something we don't always say <laughs> today <No. laughs> so i want to also ask obviously you've been recently nominated for an emmy how does it feel to be nominated for that Oh, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's awesome. Um, I know it wasn't a Disney related thing we were nominated for, but it was, still cool. it was still cool. Yeah. It was for the other side of Hollywood from Julian, the Phantoms on Netflix, uh, which was directed by Kenny Ortega and our, our buddy Cheyenne Jackson sang that one. And it was just, that whole experience was amazing. Probably one of our favorites. Um, and again, just being so lucky with the cast and the crew and the, the choreography, the talent that that's there. I mean, just getting, to to work with these insanely talented people like visionaries they it, it, it this the song which got the emmy i don't think would have gotten to the place that it ended up in which got the emmy nomination yeah uh if it wasn't for the people the involved you know we 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 show up with our version of our idea which gets people excited and then you have people like kenny ortega that see something in that and he just pulls the best version of you out of that song. And it, it, it felt like our hard work paid off because we, we put a lot of work <laughs> into that one. There were a lot of revisions because just with anything and even all the, all the, the Disney things we've written scripts for. Scripts change. Scripts change. So then the lyrics change. Yeah. So it's, yeah. there's a lot of moving pieces. So you have to be ready at any moment to drop what you're doing and rewrite a verse, rewrite a course, redo the project. There's projection, 79 projection. versions at the end. Oh yeah, you know, there's a lot of rearranging and, and especially with that song, there were, there's a lot of orchestration going on as far as just even uh, the horn section. I mean, we had to get a, a live band to, to perform some of those parts. So, you know, we, we kind of had to be ready for anything. So when we got the call that we were nominated, um, it, it, it felt really, really nice. It was amazing. Yeah. And that's also weird because you get the call like a year and a half later you know yeah. so it's kind of like okay it's it you work awesome and then a few months later a year later it comes out and you're so excited again awesome and then in this case a few months later eight nine months whatever it was we get that call and it was it was so exciting yeah so how does kind of the creative process of kind of creating a song for like a show like high school musical happen um we sit on the floor a lot <laughs> and we, I swear we do. We have this beautiful studio um, that we're in right now. And we, for some reason, love sitting on the floor and we'll, we have a general idea when we get a song of what, what it needs to be about, which characters are singing it. We get the script for either, you know, the movie or the episode. We know what happens at the beginning, what happens at the end. Does something need to happen in the song verbally where like a character changes something and, and the trajectory moves. So we get all that information. Um, and then we'll get some musical references of like, oh, you know, they, they like this idea or this idea, or whatever, musically. And then we'll sit on the floor and then we'll just, Doug will have his guitar or he'll play around on piano and we'll just sit there and bounce ideas and be like, well, well what about this? Or maybe this is a title or I like this melody. And then- it's, Well, it's, it's funny too, because if, if people kind of had a real inside, you know, behind, you, the, behind the doors, what yeah view of what actually goes on when writing a song you're, you're basically just screaming noises for, <laughs> for the first half hour or so until like you know we we we, we tend to start what just kind of happens naturally is just kind of miming 
mouth <laughs> shapes with like random melodies it that kind of come out. It would give people anxiety. It would. Um, they'd think that we were literally just coming from another <laughs> planet and just invading their home space. Um, and, and within those melodies, vowels kind of start to form and out of those vowels, words kind of start to form. And it's our job to kind of, it's kind of, it, it, as weird as it sounds, it's kind of just, just like, you know. It, it, Musical Legos? Yeah, it's, but it's channeling something from wherever it's coming from, you know, from <laughs> We're gonna whatever's floating everybody. around. But it, 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 I mean, it, it's really what it is because you're, you're taking what's coming to you and you're trying to translate it while also being conscious of, okay, this sounds, we like the way yeah. this sounds, but we also have to lyrically use our heads to guide the story properly. And within the first our, our, our goal of ours, while we, when we're starting to write a song, is usually we, we, we want to get a good idea of where we are, what's happening, what do things look like, what do things feel like, setting up the scene within the first three lines. And it it seems very, it can either sound to people very easy or very challenging. It's kind of a mixture of it's not Both. really easy. It's not, but we, I mean, we've, we've done it enough to where we've kind of gotten a grasp on how to get it done, but it's tricky. It's tricky because it has to sound good. It has to feel good. And it also has to explain really well where we are right now, because if you go an entire verse without really saying anything, and then the chorus kicks in, the viewers, sure, they have, you know, with, with writing musicals, as opposed to listening to a song on the radio, where you're yeah. kind of just listening to the artist's vision you their can message start anywhere yeah you can start anywhere it's kind of their artistic expression but with this you're guiding a visual and a story that we've seen lead you up to this point so we have to pick up where this story left off and really just drill the right messages in there at the right times otherwise yeah. no one's going to know it's not going to line up so and even with like born to be brave specifically because it's funny because with that one it wasn't so much <laughs> hey we need dialogue in the song or anything it was it was kind of a just we need something empowering but we knew what was happening in the script we knew that even though um frankie was not the lead on that right the episode was around his character and about him you know going to the dance and not going where's his date so we knew that that was all going to be a build-up and that song needed to like really respect what was happening in that moment and kind of be an anthem for it so you kind of but that kind, also didn't even happen till later in the song so it's it's right setting, right it's so we have up. to lead up to it so it will work <clears throat> perfectly at that time but we have to get there naturally it's really fun it is and then after after we write you know we kind of we get, we get all the lyrics and the melodies done and then we we go you know, to my computer music <laughs> machine. And we just start producing the track and arranging arranging the, the music. And, you know, we kind of do everything in house, which is which is nice. And then we yeah. submit our our demo, which is usually uh, Tova and me both singing, yeah. whether it's a male vocal or female vocal, we're, we're singing those parts um, and layering all the harmonies. So it's like a gang of just the two of us. <laughs> which is also really hilarious yeah. to watch. And then, you know, we, we send that off. We, we get any notes, if any. And then after everything's all been approved um, and it goes up the chain, then we get the actors to record on it. And then the rest, you know, is, the rest, the rest is the way it, 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 it's it, what you see. <laughs> Especially as with um, Born to be Brave, it's kind of such a big um, moment for that series as, and just as general for like Disney Plus and Disney Channel shows. Um, how did it feel kind of seeing everyone's reaction to that one? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, like we said, it, it's it's kind of our favorite part of the whole thing. I mean, I think between seeing the reactions and also seeing the final product on screen, yeah, um, that's always really exciting because we, after we send the song up, off, depending on the project, I mean, sometimes for other projects, we've been there for some of the rehearsals, which has been really cool to kind of mm -hmm. watch it unfold um, from the ground up. But a lot of times we send it off we we get the thumbs up after the act, actors record and you know we've been in the studio with them it's kind of taken a production for from that point on and we don't really see what's happening we're we're, you know we're already working on another project so it's like months later that yeah. we'll get a, a cut back a video edit just to make sure that everything lines up see if we need to adjust anything um in the production or the mix and stuff like that to where we first really get to see it so we we see it when it's almost completely done 
<laughs> so that, that's always really cool. We always get very nervous. We're like, oh, oh God. Right before we hit play. Yeah, we're like, like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> um, but with Born to be Brave specifically, as far as the reactions, what was nice about that was I think that song ended up meaning a lot to a lot of people for kind of maybe deeper reasons than than people would have would have thought, you know, would come out of, you know, a happy show. So I'm I'm really happy about that. And I was just looking at some of the comments on the the most recent song we did for um for season two ain't seen nothing and it was it was kind of so funny because a few people were like this sounds like the born to be brave of season two and i was like oh my god they know <laughs> well that's funny because that's also one of the things that you know they they kind of wanted to do you know it, yeah. it was a, it was a very similar musical palette um in same upbeat yeah. um i mean it, it another just empowering song of you know bringing people together and being all they can be so the message is is a similar message it's a different you know they're in different places this time everyone but, in the cast got a lead part yeah. so that was cool that was for that us was cool because it's a great cast yeah and, and and writing that one was particularly fun i think too because each line every line in that song pertains to that particular character so we didn't we didn't really write this stream of consciousness we we kind of wrote it very particular to the character that was because we knew which character was going to be yeah. singing which order. which order and then we kind of just decided okay this person's going to sing this line, so this has to say this. They're going to sing this. This has to say this. So even though the lines are very short, again, <laughs> what we mentioned before yeah. is really being careful and choosing the right line to sound good, and but to also say what that character needs to say at that moment. So that that was what we had to do for that one. Yeah, it's def definitely a highlight of the of the season so far. Now, I kind of want to shift gears a little bit and ask, you know, if you could work on any Disney franchise right now, um, what um, music would you like to create for? Oh my God! Well, um, well, since you asked, <laughs> we actually we we, uh, we had, there's a passion project of ours that we've kind of been developing over over some time now, um, which has been the backstory of Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, and. It, it, it's it's funny because, you know, everything's timing with everything. Yeah. So, you know, you, you can get something in development and then you have to wait a minute if something else is happening in production or this or that. Not even on us, just in even general. in the pipeline of Disney themselves, there's a lot happening. I mean, they're they're yeah. still waiting to release The Little Mermaid. So that has yeah. to happen before anything happens Little Mermaid related. Um, but we, we saw uh, Emma Stone who just did Cruella she posted something yeah. I think in an on, interview or something. yeah and on Twitter or something that's that's recently that was like there needs to be a, a, a backstory of Ursula and what happened to her parents and this and that we're like yo we, we're have, like, we have this we have this we've been working on it for like years wait call us yeah so um but yeah that that's that's something we would love uh, it's, it's like our dream to to get um, produced and, and, and made yeah. and you know it's it's kind of a one step at a time thing you kind of just have to have patience and wait for the, the stars to line up and wait for the universe to be ready to do it so but, we're, it's still alive yeah. we're, we're still you know <laughs> slogging away we're on it but... <laughs> for it but Ursula is such an iconic character and we it was just it's just really exciting to see what the possibilities are in her history yeah and what could have led her to become who she is mm -hmm. so yeah, it's it's one of our it's one of our little babies that we hope one day we'll get to uh, see we'll the get light to, of day. Yeah, and you recently said as well that you're going to be um, working on the new um, Sneakerella. Can you give us any sort of hints or what's going on with that one? It's going to be really good. It's, yes, no, we, we, we <laughs> it's going to be from what from what we've seen and what we've heard. Um, it's it's going to be great. Um, the leads are phenomenal singers. Yeah, like crazy good. Yeah, they're all they're all great. Crazy it's good. Great cast again. A lot of similar people that we've worked on with other you know as far as you know Steve Vincent, our buddy who's working on all the music and that as well. Yeah. And it's just it's it's been great. It, that one was a really interesting project to do because that was in the height of the pandemic, and yeah. there were a lot of challenges as far as figuring out how to continue but you know if there's a will there's a way it seems which is amazing and they made it happen and we we got to record all of the actor talent through zoom which was new because we're usually Crazy. there in the studio whether and there i think they're filming filming in canada as well yeah, for that one. so we, we usually fly out um wherever you know to and be you on meet site everyone yeah you know it, it's it's great and then 
No, this time they were all in a box. We were <laughs> in a box for them. Yeah. And it's interesting too, because, you know, when you're in person, you can hear all the little nuances that are going on. Even if they have a little phlegm in their throat, you know, you hear yeah. that when you're in the studio and you have to be aware of that and be like, okay, we have to do a different take because we heard a little, <clears throat> little schmutz. <laughs> um, but it, it, in, over zoom it the clarity of course is not it, it's pretty it, it's there's a lot of other things come to play we're not just listening through zoom there's particular audio yeah. things that are set up so we do have a higher clarity um but there's still little things that like are impossible just due to technology restrictions to hear so there are times where it's like okay we got to go back we got to get them back and re-record one line um we have to fix this so it 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 wasn't difficult in the sense of you know, people getting things done at the no. capacity they need. I mean, everyone's a pro. They, they're amazing. But it's just more of... Adjusting. Yeah, just dealing within the confines of remote technology and, and learning. That's a big thing, was just learning. Um, but they pulled it off, and it, it, it looks... Everything you, we've seen looks amazing. Yeah, and it, and, it, and it looks just as good if, as it would have looked if there was no shutdown, which is pretty incredible and just goes to show um, the talent behind these things. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's always the cool thing of kind of kind of keeping the momentum going, especially over the last 18 months and oh, just totally. keeping that pipeline going. And so final question, really, and this one's not necessarily about um, music, but what has been your personal pay, uh, favorite Disney Plus original so far? It's like choosing which children, which <laughs> child, which children, that's not which, even a proper sentence, which child which of heart. Children. <laughs> oh my God, that's so you know what? I'm not going to lie. Like, I think it is High School Musical, the musical <laughs> the series. Because, like, okay, the truth is, when we found out for the first time that we were on season one, I freaked out. I was like, oh, my God, it's High School Musical. Like, that's so cool. And, you know, I mean, we all kind of, like, grew up with that, right? Like, that's such a thing. So to be a part of it. And then, so I was excited, period, before seeing yeah. it. And then when I started watching it, I was like, I would probably watch this anyway for sure like I think they did such a good job um I think the music is so good I just and obviously I mean I'm super biased right <laughs> it's just you're right I to am. <laughs> yeah I, you I agree with me don't you I actually I don't disagree with you <laughs> I, I don't I don't because that also I every emotion that she just described I felt the same thing to me it it's almost impossible to choose because it to me it's not just the song that we did it's not just the franchise or you know uh, whatever it is it's it's not only that one particular thing to me it's it's also the people that are involved that make it a great experience That's true. i mean and and for us just the privilege of being able to write a song that gets championed by all of these people involved with this gigantic yeah disney thing. itself mm -hmm. i mean disney is such a huge and iconic um, entity and always will be and kind of always has been yeah <laughs> and yeah. it's just amazing what how 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 it's you know it, it stands the test of time and for us to be part of it and just to be able to experience the people that have been part of such huge things in the past before us before we came in and and had the privilege of being yeah songwriters for for these you know amazing projects it, it's just each one really has been a blessing and the the show owners, the producer, director, choreographer, the cast, the musical supervisors, everyone from top to bottom um, has just been so wonderful to work with. And I don't think that that's something that's always the case in no. working environments. And, you know, it, it, it makes me feel just so grateful, especially, you know, not only that we get to do what we love, but we get to do it with people we love. So- Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> It, it, it really, it, it's, it's, and listen, it, it's a lot of hard work. It's definitely a lot of hard work. There are moments where, you know, we, we have moments sometimes where like, oh my God, like, how, how are we going to, how are we going to do this again? How are we going to make something that, that is a thing. that's, was as good as the last, last thing we, we did. Yeah. And cause you know, as creative people, we have our own insecurities hoping what? that, that, that we, <laughs> cause you, you have to, you have to literally pull something out of thin air and yeah. turn one small idea into a huge mu musical number. And the story obviously starts with the, with the writers, but the song starts with us. So there's a, a huge responsibility on our end to take their vision yeah. and put our spin on it and, and, then the and then bring it back to where 
it lines up with the vision that they had. So for all the stars to line up every single time, you know, you have to be working with a team that you feel creative with, that you feel collaborative with, that you feel comfortable with. Um, and every, everyone's just been great. So I know that was probably a very vague, long, <laughs> drawn out answer. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's all of them for me. I mean, each, each one just continues to surprise us. So it's, <laughs> on that note guys thank you very much for taking time out to speak to us today um, good luck with the Emmy nomination and we shall see you guys soon thank Ladies. you so much for having thank us you. thank you very much for watching this video make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com like, follow and subscribe also a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships and I shall see you guys in another video Laters.